Hello. I pray that you are well today. There's a lie that happens at Christmas time, and lots of people believe it, and they evaluate their life on the basis of it. And it comes from Luke chapter 12, in particular, verse 15. He then said to them, Watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Sometimes the idea of, of Christmas is that how much stuff will we have? Or how much stuff will we give? Or what's the level of stuff? You know, the kind of understanding of gift giving. You give something and someone else gives you something back of equal value. And there becomes kind of a politics of giving. But God says, watch out. Be careful for this. Be careful that you don't fall in this ditch. Watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. And in, in another translation, be on your guard against all kinds of covetousness. That I want what somebody else wants. I want what somebody else has. I want. And he goes on to say this statement. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. How many things do you own? Some people say they own 300,000 things, a study showed. 300,000 things. I guess that's even down to the most minute thing you have. That's a lot of stuff. The truth is, you're never taking any of it with you. Nothing that you have can go with you beyond the gate of eternity. Your life does not consist in the abundance of what you own or candidly what you give, giving is an expression of grace. It's an expression of, of love. I love finding the exact right gift that basically says to the person that opens it up that you are special, you are important, this could be a value to your life, this is a, something that will make you smile. All those things are true, but it's more the act of giving and the feeling you get when somebody is happy and they are encouraged. God says, watch out, watch out. What's your view of money? How much money do you need to have a Merry Christmas? You don't need any money to have a Merry Christmas. But it says, watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Greed is a scary thing. Because greed will say, my life is not that important unless I have this. I'm not, so, I'm not solving something unless I have this. I'm not really important unless I have this. Those are all kinds of greed. But it says life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. You know, a number of years ago when my mother-in-law was still living, I would take her on Saturday mornings and we would go to garage sales. She liked doing it. She liked talking to the people. She liked picking up things that she would become important to her for nostalgia reasons. But you know what? There was one kind of rummage sale, garage sale, that I would have a hard time going into. It was called an estate sale. Maybe you've seen them. Where somebody clearly has died and they no longer are living or can no longer live in that home and they left like they turned the key and left, or they left this life and left, and now everybody is going in their house, and you still see clothes in the, in the closets, you still see dishes in the cupboards, everything is still the same. And for me, in a difficult way, I could not really shop in those situations. It's too painful, because I would think in my mind, Clearly, you can't take it with you. And clearly, all the things we have in our life will outlive, so to speak, will last longer than us. It's important to have a, a reality check that possession, stuff, that isn't what life's about. And even though there's some kinds of stuff that happens at Christmas time, God says, watch out, be aware, be clear. Be on your guard. How do you feel about these things in your heart? All things are a tool in order to help love other people. That's what all things are. They're a tool. Life does not consist in how much you own, how much you have. 
It's a lie. The promise is you are wealthy and rich because of Jesus. The babe in the manger who came in a manger of all things, who went to the cross. Contrary to popular belief, the king of the universe was born in an animal stall and laid in an animal trough. Contrary to popular belief. But in fact, that says wealth is not what you see with your eyes. It's what you know. Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray that we would not fall for the lie and think that Christmas is wrapped up in what we have or what we give or, or financially how much it all costs, but that we know that, that Christmas is actually the humble Christ child coming to us. That and two, we love one another in our life humbly. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. The promise is that you are rich because of the Christ child in the manger. God bless you.